Welcome back. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome back to Rome 2 Total War. Um, by the way, I've uh, just pre-ordered Attila. It's coming out, is it on the 17th of February? I think it is. Sometime in February anyway. So um, I've ordered it through Steam. It's the first time I'll have a copy of a Rome Total War game that isn't on CD. I've decided I never sell them on. I always keep them. So what's the point in having them on CD? And I might as well, after six months, buy it on CD anyway, because it'll have dropped down so much in value. So I'm going for it online, so I'm getting Steam to send it to me anyway. So Right, OK, where was I? Um, yeah, I've made one or two decisions, and I don't even know what I've done now with my bit of paper that tells me what I'm going to do, which is uh, a little bit disturbing. But one thing I do remember is that I wanted to get my um, ships that are over here, just over here somewhere, to raid further south. I noticed that this place here, uh, in fact, I'll show you here. You see that? That earns, well, that's an income, 1460 for Ro for Rome, excuse me, and then another 438 for Pontus. Come over here, and it becomes, where is it? Oh, come on. It becomes 4,024. Yeah. Now, okay, I haven't got Pontus, but, I mean, that that's 4,024. If you do this, that's about 1,800, isn't it? So I'd rather raid from from there than from here. So what I'm going to do is move my ships over fairly quickly, uh, if I can. They're on, um, <coughs> excuse me, they're on raid at the moment. So I'm going to put them on double time, which means I'll lose my lose my raid value. See just above end in end turn there. So that's going to go down now while I do this. But I think it's an important thing to do because I'm going to make more money out of it. I can always retreat if any of these ships get a bit awkward. I'm in the right place there, aren't I? Yeah. Now, obviously, now, because I've run there, I can't now go on, on raiding, so that'll be next turn. But it's all part of an overall plan, to be honest with you. I want to be a bit further forward so I can keep an eye on these things. But also, um, I, I want to be able to take this place at some point as well. So there's a dual purpose to all this. I want to keep an eye on things as well as raiding. Now, that's my other... Um, thought about this. Now, I'd left you on the previous video with, right, okay, now I've got to do everything with my agents. I've got to attack his agents. I've got to do this, that, and the other. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get all my agents to come into, deep into um, the uh, territory, into what you call it, territory, I don't know. Um, uh, was it Antony, Ant Antonian, maybe? I don't know. Antonian territories. You see all these, he's got, the, I don't know what these are, but they're probably his as well. But these aren't, so there's a chance that might not be either. So anyway, what I'm going to do is sort of generally head for deep into his territory and see where that leads us to. Uh, and also, I suppose, see if it, you know, throws anything up, you know, any sort of um, targets that I need to hit, any sort of uh, um, enemy armies that are hanging around. So, uh, but I'm going to leave my um, my people that are going to get me, you know, cultural change, you know, the, the um, diplomat type ones. Uh, what's that? I'll bring that one over perhaps to here. Or is it somewhere further down there? Antioch maybe? Doesn't really matter, does it? As long as I'm going past Mazaka. If I see something I need to hit, then I'm certainly going to do that. Uh, because I fully intend to go this way. What's that? Ah, that's one of mine. My sword is yours. Oh, he's already been killed down there. No, he hasn't. He's but he's just moved there. That, that's the previous one, obviously. So, okay. Well, I need another one that's going the other way then, don't I? So let's get this one. Oh no, has he moved? He's done something anyway. This one, perhaps. Ah. Oh. Right, okay. He's a pretty good one. And we'll get him to come down perhaps this way. Does this go an alternate way? It does, doesn't it? Oh, it goes past side as well. Or Sidder, whatever you want to call it. Did I have anybody already down here? That I can move maybe a little bit closer. Can't see anybody. Okay, another reason for doing this. I want to save a bit of money. I'm spending a lot of money at the moment on um, 
on all these agent actions and and Anthony seems to just keep producing loads of agents one after another but they don't seem highly skilled which has to be good for me oh, I'm just wondering about perhaps here oh I see we can't get around there can we not yeah uh, seems to be a kind of block there doesn't there okay well let's get him round here maybe I don't know I just want to see what's going on mainly Let's speed these up a bit, actually. That's better, isn't it? Okay, still nothing. Wow, he doesn't seem to have anything anywhere, does he? Uh, okay, the other thing is, as well, to get rid of the... get away from these guys. Uh, oh, I can't get him away. Uh, him? Yes. Okay, he's only on a three. But we'll get him as well to come... Which way? He's going there. What about over to Tarsus? Uh, perhaps that way, maybe. And that, well, I was expecting. Uh, this is the reason why I didn't do it off video. I was expecting that that That's something would show up here. You know that I'd see some foreign army somewhere, and it would lead to me stopping them from moving or something. Or I don't know. That's why I decided to do it this way. See, nothing can even get through there. We seem fairly safe, don't we? Um, something's probably already on its way up there. Is anybody going to Odessa? Not at the moment, so let's go to Odessa then. What's that blue there? Hmm. Right, okay, still nothing. He doesn't seem to have any troops left. What's going on? Okay, let's have a look now on the forces just to see which ones I haven't moved. I haven't moved this one. Where is he? Where are you? Do anything for right. Okay, yeah, you're another one that's going to move. I don't know where to. Uh, we've got agents around side, so not too bothered about that one. Let's go towards Samosata then. Okay, next one. He's a good My one. Alright, maybe I'll do one agent action, shall I, with him? No, no, he's very good. Let's get him down here as well. Let's see if that spy or whatever it is follows me. But I want to make sure that I'm being actively, um, well, that I'm being proactive, let's say, um, directly against the um, enemy military. Uh, right, I wonder... If maybe I leave him over that way, just to keep an eye on what's coming. See, because we've got these areas as well, haven't we? Hmm. I'm going to leave him there, you know? And maybe... See, this one's culturally mine anyway, I think, isn't it? Ankira, come on, show me. You, I'm pretty sure, are going to be culturally mine. Yeah, you're on plus two. But that could, because my agent, could be because of my agents in there. So, no, I'm going to leave all those. Uh, there's a spy who hasn't moved. May I be of assistance? Serena. Where on earth is that? Way down. That's that other one, isn't it? On no, uh, North Africa. Okay, we'll leave him there then. And this one. Um, don't know. Maybe leave him there as well. I wonder actually if it's worth. No, I can't. I can't put him in, can I? Okay. Uh, this one. Okay, leave him there. And this one. Ah, now we're back again. Now, okay, he's, yeah, missionary or whatever you call it, so we'll leave him there. This one. Oh. There's an agent right next to him. A spy from Belgae. 9%, 12% temptation. Hmm. I don't know. It's not worth it, is it? It's not worth the Spinning, risk of upsetting the Belgae. So I'm not going to do it. No, okay, and then who else have we got? Forces. And I think that's got to be it, hasn't it? 
Let's work from the bottom again, see if we can get back to that one that's with the Belgae. This one... Okay, leave him there. And this one... Come on. Uh, right, you're not going to move for some reason. What's happened? The game has gone sticky again. Uh huh. Come on, what's going on? Right. Yes. Oh, it's a ship. Right. Ready, okay. And then him. Now I'll leave him there. That's Never all I worked out before, wasn't it? That's Rome. him. This other one will be the one that's all the way over at Trevor, whatever Are it is, won't it again? So yeah, that one there. It's a bit of a risk, isn't it? That, having him right next to there. Maybe I don't know. Does this make him more protected? Increasing tax rates help him protect local settlements against authoritarian agent actions. Authoritarian agent. Whilst deployed agents cannot act against other targets. Um well, help him protect local settlements against authoritarian agent actions. Administration advises locals local officials whereby I don't know. Do I leave him there? That spy is obviously trying to do something, isn't he? That's why he's there. Um, I'm going to move him over to here. Setting forth. Um, and I'm going to get him to do that. Just to I see if it helps here. That. Because this place isn't doing so well. It's getting... Um, it's getting a plus two on its culture, which is good, but it's getting mus minus one every turn there. I have to think about that, I'm afraid. Right, okay, well that's kind of what I expected to do on the last video, uh, except that I wanted to get my agents to actively um, uh, hurt his agents somewhere. In fact, it looks like now I've got money left in the bank, I might even be able to recruit, can I? Am I already doing that? Oh, actually, I seem to remember them not being very good recruits in here. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? I can't get anything really decent. I suppose I could get some more um, of these sorts of things, couldn't I? Yeah, I prefer these, you know, to these. And I know these can move. I'll just get a couple of those, because I know they're good. Um, and leave it at that, I think. Um, the other one down here, I don't think I can do anything with. I suppose I could amalgamate troops and then do something, but yeah, because he's hardly got anybody, has he? I might be better off getting rid of those and recruiting some more. He's got one chevron. Mm, is it worth keeping him for the one chevron? I'm not sure. What can we recruit? Ah, I can't get anything at all of any decent value in there. I've already got three of these, so there's nothing at all of any interest to me. Um, so, okay, well, that's got to be it, isn't it? Well, it certainly looks like um, uh, Mark Antony is a decent distance away from me with any of his armies anyway, um, because I can't see anything. Unless he's got them in North Africa and he's going to bring them round from there. Or in other words, he, he goes deeper into, not in other words, but in, uh, or otherwise he might have troops that are further into the, the Middle East. Um, I'm looking down at that little map in the bottom right now and see, well, it's gone now, isn't it? But um, I was just thinking about Oh, hang on. Antioch. Why didn't I see those before? Is that That's three armies. Three more armies. Ah, oh, dear me. Trouble is, you see, I can't get a treaty with him. I can't... I, I've got to take more territories, because I need the money, but also because um, I need to have my culture spread in 29 or 30 different provinces. So I've got to take other areas anyway. Um, so I, I've got to go to war with him. And in order to do that I'm going to get more minus points, if that makes sense. My um, credibility, if you like, with my um, temperamental allies is going to go down. So I expect I'm going to end up going to war with other people fairly soon, but Pontus wants a peace treaty. Well, I don't want a peace treaty with Pontus because it'll affect my standing with other people like the Dacians 
And since I'm going to get another minus 25 fairly soon, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Unless they want to go f to be a satrapy, not a satrapy, client state. I'm just used to that now. Add offer demand. Break. Oh, they're already a client state. No, I'm afraid not. Right. Hmm, interesting that they wanted a peace treaty. I've looked at them, by the way. It's not just the fact that I'm at war with them that's upsetting them. It's all the actions against um, Antony's Rome. It's it's war with Antony's Rome. It's all like... The only way I'm going to settle Pontus, really, is to have a prolonged peace with Mark Antony. And that's just never going to happen. You know, so... Okay. What am I up to time-wise? 15, almost 16 minutes. Wounded. Well, I suppose that was a risk, wasn't it? That's... Is that another one? Same one. It's always a risk. Faction, join your enemies. There you go, Egypt. That's before I've got the additional minus points. Increasing rank. Thank you very much. Right, construction complete. Snail vats. Oh, great. I presume that's food. Trait gained. Wounded. Faction joins war. Quartermaster's report. Increase in rank. Okay, good. Well, if you remember, my intention is to go south. Oh, in fact, before I do that, can I raid now? It is an honour. I think to I serve should be Rome. able to. Do I go close to there? No, I don't think so. I think what I'll do now is raid from here. Raiding. So looking on the bottom right at the moment, I can see next to the yellow one there, 58, well it's not yellow actually, it's kind of gold colour, 5805. What does it become when I do this? Take what you can, boys. 6, 9, so that's 1100 I've gained from doing that. Excellent. I know I lost about 800 or so, I think, from stopping raiding here. Eventually it'll be worthwhile. But it's not the point really about the amount of money I get, it's the amount of money I take away from him. I'm now taking more money away from him than I would have been otherwise. So where do I go next? This place is free of any enemy troops. Um, this seems to have, seems to be a nest of them, doesn't it? Three in here. What? Is that what it is? Right, okay. Uh, 16 in there. All full units. Very nice for him. 20 in there. And 18 in there. Again, all full units. They're not brilliant, are they? They're mixers of troops. Which my troops are better. Except that he will more than likely have got um, the military um, research point. So in other words, his... Um, I, I don't know, his, his missile troops will shoot twice as fast as mine and all, all that kind of stuff is going on, I imagine. Right, well, since nothing can directly threaten me, by the look of it, might be worth having a look over there as well, actually. How can I Let's use success? my better ones for other things. My uh, less good ones I can use well. for just I going to have a yours. look. I, I don't think yours. I've got any less good ones. Wow. Uh, right. I will do anything um, okay. He can't reach there, can he? Okay, what I'm going to do then is um, use my really good ones to prevent him from moving. I think... He's pretty good. So what we want is military sabotage. And I'll go for poison... No, I won't. I'll go for wreck baggage train. Um, target stop, 48% chance. It's only 23% chance on uh, poison provisions. So we'll go for wrecking the baggage train then, see what that does. Okay. I need to stop him completely if possible. Successful. Very good. And what does that say then? That's Oh, hang on. Do it again. This one. Cannot move or act. Okay, very good. Now let's see if I can do the same with the other one. What do you wish of you? No, I'm going to save him for something else. Let's use one of these. Yeah, he's a good one. And oh, there's another one at the back. Ah, and he can only just reach, actually. Maybe get him to reach. Can he reach him? 
I think he can. Let's risk it anyway. Okay, military subversion. And I want... Well, harass stops him at 30%. This one does it at 59 So it's going to be assault patrol. I hope I'm not wasting this guy now. Uh, I should have gone for the town with him instead. Oh no, he can reach. Wow, this is good. It won't be so bad if they get half movement, to be honest. But is that half movement? Cannot move or act. So that one's stuck there as well. Excellent. And... This one, yeah, he's a good one. Champion. He can hit this guy in here, preventing him from moving as well. Military subversion. <coughs> and what is it? Assault patrol. You see, this one is 27% stopped. This one is 59%. So it's going to be assault patrol again. Right. Successful. And that is... Uh, he can only move half. Now, shall we allow one of them to move half? He's not going to be able to do anything very successfully, is he? So, okay. Uh, let's move him then around to... Oh, he can't move. This one. Around, say, to here. I'm curious about what's in there. As you command. Nothing there is at all. More I could do. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Can anything go through there? Nothing. Well, do you know, it looks like all he might have is these armies here. I need to go deeper into the territory, don't I, and find out what's going on. But if these aren't his, and that isn't, if it isn't, then we're sorted, aren't we? This is all he's got. Let's see what he actually has got in terms of how close he is to being a danger to me. See, look, he's still... Uh, on balance of power, he's still the same as us, isn't he? The Kimbri, no chance. Belgay, yeah, we're dominant on those. Everything's good for us. It's just Ant Mark Antony, isn't it? So, um, right. Well, bearing in mind they are stopped in their tracks and nobody is coming from down here, it might be worth... Hang on, saw somebody else then. No. They're the ones that are stopped. I suppose there could be somebody around here, couldn't there? Well, I'm risking. I'm going to risk that. That there's. Oh no! Do I need to? I, Actually, I don't need to risk it. I can bring him round. I'm with you. I well, there we are. There's just nothing at all to threaten me. So I really need to go deep into this territory, find out what's going on there, but. For now, it looks very much as though we're sorted. Let's, let's have a quick look at um, the ones who haven't moved. What about him? How can I serve? Right, I'm going to leave him there. He's kind of keeping an eye on this place, isn't he? Side, or whatever you, you call on. it. Okay, and then this one. My sword is yours. Yeah, I said I'd leave him there. Um just in case of Pontus. Oh, by the way, Bifas oh, told me yes, about... Uh, oh, now. Now, these I haven't used yet. How much money have I got left? 8,700 and something. Now, he was going to go down to Edessa. Maybe he still should. Yeah, let's get him down to here. Ah. Is he any good? No. Okay, well, maybe it's worth then... Just trying to coerce him or something. Manipulation. Coercion. 35%. Just don't get wounded, please. One thing I haven't yet managed to do. That's a shame. Um, one thing I haven't yet managed to do is get a spy up to the full number of stars. I've done it with a champion. I don't think I've managed it with a diplomat either yet. So, alright, okay. Forces. This one. I am Rome's ah, champion. yeah, we're leaving him. This one. My skills are yours. Leaving him. I thought there was another spy I could move. Right, this oh. guy, he can be upgraded now. It's interesting. Well, let's just keep him safe, eh? 
Okay, good. Especially since you know, the um, spies are causing me trouble up there. Ah, now here's a point. I'm only one away now from construction, aren't I? Uh, from not not construction, from finishing this building. And this building gives me plus two growth in all regions. So I'm going to have a look at one that's not been upgraded in any way. This one. And it's for Sonto. And it's got no growth. So provincial effects. 6545. Five. Hmm. Maybe I'll have a look at Let's just write that down. 6545. Five. <coughs> I'm curious to see if that increases. 6545. Let's see if that increases, because if it does, then it'll show that um, that, that has made a difference in terms of growth. In fact, was I, oh, I was definitely looking at growth then, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. Um, overall growth is naught, of course, but um, yeah, okay. Let's see if it improves that 6, what did I say? 6545, five, written it down here. Should be easy enough to remember that, shouldn't it? 654 and then 5. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Um, next is I had an intention to do something. Now it's all clear around here. I want to take somewhere else. It's how I take it though, that's the problem. Do I take it from here? Do I take it from here? Now, it looks to me as though there's a possibility of an attack from these guys from over there. Bit of a risk, isn't it? But nothing's coming. So I think it might be worth it, you know. It might be worth taking that risk. Is he in there? He isn't, is he? Well, let's get him in there as well, by the way. Yeah, okay. Not sure, really. Maybe he should be further down, doing something more useful than defending that. But it is a pretty crucial position. This is what Bifas was saying, that this place here, Odessus, has fallen to Pontus. And he was worried that they might come down and attack me. Well, I can't see any armies in there, but... It's still true. Um, if he could go up there, he can come down here. So it's definitely worth taking care, isn't it? Right, now... Ah, it's which one goes in. Now, I tend to want um, these guys, which have got Octavian in charge, to take these places. And I'm thinking about him taking Mazaka. Tempting, isn't it? Yeah... Um, I think now I know I'm safe from these other places, um, and it's worth how much? Uh, it's only worth 199. Might be worth going somewhere else. That one's 436, and that one, 1,389. Oh, wow. But have I already got some of these territories? I have, haven't I? And I'd only need side after that. I think maybe it's worth taking that one. So I'm going to. Okay. Uh, tempting, isn't it, to go deeper. Say, take this place and then attack him afterwards. Because he shouldn't now be able to raise any any more forces other than these three, should he? If, he, if this is all he's got, he's only got about these four territories. You know, but, ah, no, no. Let, let's do it all in turn. We'll take Mazaka. Oh, I... I uh, oh, I should have... Oh, God, you know, I was just going to say then. I had a sudden fear he's going to go all the way around there for some reason because I didn't check it first. That was really remiss of me. Right, OK, uh, that's very much in my favour. So I will encircle. And I'll bring him down as well. Over here, he can't recruit very well at the moment, can he? Maybe he'll recruit better when he gets down into the other area. I don't know. It's worth a try anyway, isn't it? So, if I bring him in support, say to, I don't know, is that a road? Do you know, to be honest, it, I don't think he would support the attack. He'll support it from there. I don't think he's going to... You know, if I look at that, I can't see any line. OK, 
Come on. It's got to be there, isn't it? Okay, I didn't really want to run in, so... Right, okay, Octavian's the one that needs the points, so we'll put Octavian in there uh, for now, or we'll, we'll take the place with Octavian. That is very much in my favour, of course, because we've got all of these shooting at it, these, as well as these. Um, really, that should give me 90-odd percent, that, shouldn't it? I mean, he hasn't even got any walls, has he? So, what's it going to give me? 92, 92, 92. Well, I'm going to accept any one of them. It makes no difference to me. I'm going to slaughter him and take this place. Now, I won. Oh, right, okay. Uh, occupy. At your command. Right, this is what we expected. Any moment we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? So, okay. That's a big risk now, but hey, that's the way it's going to have to be. Okay, so side is a place, Iconium is now at risk, but I've got spies out there to see which way he might go, so I should be okay there. He can't attack me down there right now. It might be worth me, really, coming round here with this army and down here with that army. Uh, I think that is going to be the way to go. So let's do that. Let's come out of there. Can we move? Can't even move. Why can't we move at all? Oh, he can. Okay. Seems to be as far as he goes. This doesn't even get that far. Right, okay. And then him, with a bit of luck, can get into here. Brilliant. Right, now another thing I've noticed is that these can all have increased abilities, which obviously my enemy has been uh, benefiting from. It's going to cost me 1,600 to do that. Wow, that's a lot of money. Right, now these guys can also do it. I don't quite know what it is they can get. Turns into, uh, I'll find out in a moment anyway. It's some upgrade, which is... Uh, it's this. Very light missile infantry. No. St what is it? Unit rank. Level 2 weapons. That's what it is. I just got level 2 weapons because I've taken something in here. This is Mazaka, which gives me this. It's this one. Um, right. Level 1 armor. So I've got armor as well. Um, and level 2 weapon. Now that's interesting. So it's not on recruitment at all. Because it just said then, uh, you know, well, I, I've been checking these things before and thought it wasn't worth getting them. But it's not on recruitment. Um, right. It gives a plus 10. Actually, it's showing me both. What have I actually got there? Anyway, um, uh, level 1 armour um, gives me plus 5% armour, but um, level 2 weapons gives me plus 10% melee attack. So, I think it said plus 10% weapons, didn't it? Yeah. Level 1 armour. Uh, no, no, sorry, I got it wrong. It's level 1 armour. I haven't got weapons. I haven't got the... No. So, why didn't I get the weapons then, as well? Oh, I have! I've got... It shows me more. So, I've got level 2 weapons, level 1 armour. So, anyway, it's good. It's good stuff. So, I need to recruit in here. I've got enough money now. I've spent all that money on armour and such like. So I'm going to get... Um, <sighs> right, I've got lots of firepower there, so I'm not sure I need any more of those. Um, but... Oh, what have we got in here as well? It'd be nice to throw war dogs at all these velites and stuff that he keeps chucking at me, won't it? Wouldn't it? Um, I wonder... I'm going to get some war dogs. And yeah, and I'm going to try them. See what happens. Mm, and I'll get these. These are good. Uh, okay. And I think that is about it. Well, I've got 694 left anyway. So, uh, right. And I, I think that's it. It's all down now to, uh, to what he comes up with. Oh, damn. One thing I was going to check is how much this has gone down by. Because it was 6,000 and something, wasn't it? It's gone down to 5,610. 
I reckon it's because this has reduced. Um, Anthony's Rome, 3,406. It's because I've taken Mazaka. See, I suspect now his route is coming along here instead. <coughs> Excuse me. Because it can't go up there through through there, because that's Iconium. I have that place. can't go up there. It has to go along this route. But that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Can I raid a trade route over land? Well, where is it? Where does that route go to? Interesting, isn't it? It vanishes. Oh, well, OK. Oh, 35 and a half minutes going on for 36 minutes. I think now it has to simply be, although I could do with recruiting a general somewhere, it has to be a turn end, I think. Can I risk that? Yep. Oh. Oh, I can issue an edict. Now, where needs an edict more than anywhere else? Uh, towns and provinces. Asia. In fact, what I could do is find out which is my worst. Mm. I think it shows me on here, doesn't it? Records. Uh, stats. Politics. Uh, summary. No. I can't see anything that tells me which is the worst. Well, not easily anyway. What's this civil war? I've forgotten about that. The likelihood of civil war breaking out, the higher the influence of ruling political party, the higher the chance of civil war becomes, etc. But it doesn't tell me what my chance is, does it? I've got 184 out of 500 senators, which gives me 37%. You're not at the bottom, but there's a long way to go to reach the top. Influence overlooked? I'm, I'm missing out on plus 1% research rate, plus 1 public order paternal, paternal provinces, plus 1 tax rate, plus one morale for all land units. If I get, you know, if I get, the, I don't know, something in the Senate, what does this do? Secure promotion. Use your influence to promote this character to a higher office. Right, next level, military tribune. Plus three percent tax rate, local province, plus one gravitas. Upkeep the land. Oh, I should have been doing this, shouldn't I? Okay, um, who is he? See, Agrippa's quite small, isn't he? But he is way out there in front, isn't he? Uh, upkeep for all land units. I'm, I'm going to secure Agrippa. Political ingredient. Oh, he's developed. Right, consequence. Promotion secured. Plus 3% tax rate, local province, plus 1 gravitas, etc. Let me know. I'm glad I looked at that. That's improved everything straight away, hasn't it? Is there another one of those? Um, characters. Secure. I can do another one. Right. This man was chosen. This man's humanity, forbearance, um, etc., etc. Mother bore me, uh, etc. What about these? Secure promotion, divorce. Doesn't tell me what I can get like the other one did. The other one said you are missing out on blah de blah, didn't it? These don't tell me that. Do you know, I've been missing out on all this stuff. Um, what does it tell me on here? Maybe it tells me here. It does. Plus three local tax rate. Minus two upkeep for all land units. Army only. Plus one gravitas. Uh, I think maybe I'm going to have to go for another one. So, who's the next one below Agrippa? Because I've already chosen Agrippa. So let's choose... So I don't know what these mean, 25 and stuff. Uh, Octavian Dynasty's gone up from 33 to 37, though, so that has to be good, doesn't it? Well, let's go to this one at the top, then. Um, that's Octavius. I can promote Octavius. That's unreal, but I should do it, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah. Okay. Consequence, promotion secured. Right, how often can I do this? And does it improve things the whole time? So I do it with everybody. So what does this mean? Does that mean I demote someone else whenever I promote another way? 
I don't know. Well, let's have a look what my income is at the moment. 5,610. Let's see what happens if I do another general. Another character. This one. Still 5,610. Well, what's my influence in the Senate now? 38%. Well, I, I should do more, shouldn't I? Surely. Got one here in Roma, so... Secure promotion. Little intrigue, thank you very much. And we now have... More than 38%, I presume. No, still got 38 oh, I don't understand how that's working, so I'm going to leave that alone. Perhaps somebody can tell me how that works. I'm sure BFAS or someone else clever can tell me how all that works. But it should have improved my situation. Anyway, what it was actually all about, that, was finding out about... Um, which one? In fact, uh, there's a way of doing this, you know. There really is. Um, is it this one? No. There is one that tells me... I might as well look at that while I'm here, though. Um, oh, it's that, isn't it? Yeah, 22 out of 29. 30 out of 20... Uh, sorry, 26 out of 30. Um, okay. So, how do I find it out? It's not that. It's end of term, you fool. Uh, trade and finance. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, there it is. Belgica. Ah, I can't issue an edict there anyway. I can't do it. I bet you that Belge hate me now. Damn, let's have a look at those. The Belge. Minus 33. There's a few that don't like me though, aren't there? What about Kimbri? Minus four. Kimbri are even worse. There's a few that don't like me now. Antony's Rome, we understand. Dumonia, a little bit too far away. I'm not too worried about those. Egypt were at war with me anyway. Garamantia, again, I'm not worried about those either. Gaul, they're close. But they are a client state, and so are the Iceni. So I shouldn't have to worry too much about those. The big problems are the Belge, because they're close to me in power, and the Kimbri. And um, the Kimbri are... They're up there, so they're still not touching me. So the Belge are my main opponents, and they're the ones who sent that spy in against me, aren't they? I think what I might have to do then is in here, raise a general. Because I'm allowed another general now, aren't I? Raise forces. Raise army. Uh -huh. I can only now afford... Ooh, he can have extra armour though. I might as well get it if I can afford it. So, okay, General in Trevorum, which is going to improve the happiness of the place. So he, but that's probably not now the most um, the most concerning place. Oh, it is. It's still Belgica. But, like I said before, I can't get... Um, I wonder if there's a way, that some kind of hierarchy. I think there is, you know, provinces... Can I do it in terms of... What's that one? Public order, happiness. Well, let's do it. Let's rank them. Okay, so we've got... These are the biggest public order. And they're going downhill. So Galatia, Caspi, whatever. The only one, really, that's a full province is Asia. So let's go and look at Asia, then, and see if we can issue an edict in there, then. So this is Pergamon. And how happy is this place? Or unhappy? Right, it's on minus 10 change per turn. It's going to go in four turns. Let's do an edict in here then. So what am I going to give it? Um, conversion to Latin culture. Um, reduce slave population to 20% commerce buildings. Uh, public order and um, food. It's got to be good, isn't it? 15% to... I'm going to go for public order and food in there. I'm just going to have a look at my food on that bottom right as well when I click this and see what happens. I'm plus 25 at the moment. Yeah, as I suspected, it's only for this... Oh, it doesn't come until next turn anyway. Damn, so I can't tell. Okay, so that's edict issued. And I do want to do the turn end. I know masses of time have gone by now, which is a shame. But I want to do the turn end so I can see this. And then I can check that province that I checked which I don't remember which one it is now. I know it was 6545, and it was one that was in here somewhere. It's not that one, is it? No. Damn, do you know, I, was it up here? 
It's all right writing this down, but I didn't write which province it was, did I? Um, oh, I don't know. Seven four three. Which one was it? I can't remember. Um, is it one of these? Have I got everybody in? Eight four. F <laughs> what can I do? Um, right. Okay, I just don't remember which one it was. So I'm going to come over here and do Tingis. Tingis is what? Probably this one I did anyway, wasn't it? Uh, 1545. Okay, well let's do that then. 1545 and I'm going to change it to Tingis. Tingis. I'm going to write down Tingis on here rather. Not change it, I'm going to write it down. Okay, let's see what happens now then. Uh, we should get a little bit more money this time, of course, because we're raiding, which is good, because we, we lost a fair bit of money because we changed our, our raiding from one place to another. So now I need to check. Where he's going to go? He can't move. He's stuck around Antioch. Um... There must be a point at which he can't have too many agents. So he's stopping my my general from moving there, isn't he? Or one of them. And he didn't die or anything, so I think he's probably been successful. This is where really, yeah, look, something... Oh, no, I got chevrons there. Right, there's another one. So I might be able to tell um, how many armies he can have by counting the number of agents he's got. He's certainly got two champions there that I could see on the screen at once. There may even be three. If he's got three, he's got the equivalent of what I had before. So, hmm, not good. Do you know, I've just realised that army that I raised in Teneventia, I don't think I put it inside the town itself. Hmm. Yeah, I need the Dacians to be a little bit more proactive, but they probably don't like me very much either now with all my expansionism. I didn't want to expand this far. But with um, Antony and Pontus being so powerful together, and then Egypt joining them, I needed more because any of these other places could have attacked me at any time. So I've had to go for that military expansion, which is a damn shame. I don't want peace with Pontus, though. Why on earth do they want peace with me when they know what I'm like? Where is it? Where's, how do I find out about Pontus there? Is that it? Look at that. I'm on minus 254. Why would they want peace with me? The only reason why they could want peace with me that I can see is that it affects my relations with somebody else like Dacia. And I'm not prepared to risk that because I know Dacia are at war with Pontus. And you can imagine what it's going to do to my relations with Dacia if I make peace with Pontus, even though I need the money. It's a crafty move, isn't it, really? You know, a crafty diplomatic move on their behalf, really, to do that. Yeah. I'll have to see what Attila comes out like as well. Could be interesting. Uh, I don't think I've read anything about Attila. I think I'm going to have to refresh myself on that. Right, crane mechanics. Now, very good. Military subversion. Yeah, he stopped one of my enemy champions and led a brutal attack against one of your patrols. Y few have lived to tell the tale, blind. Military sabotage. Target Gaius Octavius. They've been poisoned by an enemy spy. Oh dear. Agent recovered. Subject gains notoriety. It's not too bad if I can stop his armies. Um, it's having the money to be able to do it all. That's the big problem. Edict issued, which has to be good news. I might have a look at that, actually. See how that's turned out. So, over... Was it here? Right, okay. These guys should be more than happy now. 17. Yeah, they were, if you remember, going under. I need to look at where my other edicts are and see if I can swap them around to other places. Okay, construction report. Oh, very good. Basilicas of Minerva. Loads and loads of farms. Excellent stuff. So I'm now up to 42 food. Brilliant. Now, quarter massive report. Military subversion attempt. Trouble populous household. Etc, etc, etc. Right, okay. So, um, sounds like the king and I, doesn't it? Etc, etc. Um, I just want to make sure that this guy is in the town itself. Ah, oh, yes he is. What sort of troops can he raise in there if he needs to? 
Oh dear me, that's uh, pretty poor. I had no idea it was so bad. Um, he's never going to get anything better, is he? Might have been better raising him in here. Blast, that's not good at all. Uh, how happy is the place? Not deliriously so. Plus f oh, it's improving now though, so mm, that's probably because that general's in there. Okay, well, if nothing else, the general has improved the general situation. Let's just have a look, see if what, what chance there is of growth in there uh, affecting things. Oh, right, okay. Uh, nothing. Now why am I getting no growth? Provincial effects minus four. I wonder if it's because he owns the province. Could well be, couldn't it? Well, at least we've got a general to lead things in there now. So, 6,475 to spend. It's looking good. So, what I next need to do... Oh, next thing I need to do is get my next technology, which is going to be... Come on. It's going to have to be this, because I want this, don't I? 11. Blast. What's the research rate? It's not going to show... Yeah, 239. I thought I was doing better than... Oh, look, see what I suspected. I thought we'd go from there to there, but I always worried that I might have to go through there. This is going to give me wealth from industry, that's all, and then fire watching goldsmith, etc. Damn, it's not good enough. It's going to take me ages to get to where I need to be um, to build the buildings that I need to have. So let's have a look at Tingis and see what it's improved by. Uh, it should have improved unless it only affects full regions, which I suspect is the case. Let's have a look. So it is, <coughs> excuse me, um, 585. I've got it written down as 1545. So what happened there then? It was 1545. Why is it now 585? Something's happened. Events, perhaps, has disappeared? I don't know. 1545. So, anyway, I suspect what's happened, because it was 1545, is the ones disappeared for some reason, the buildings have stayed the same, and the food has stayed the same, but technologies has gone up to 8, and it was 4. Now, that's strange, because it says you get plus 2, doesn't it, in here? But I'm wondering if it's for each settlement, plus growth in all regions per turn, all provinces. So, it might be per region, so I might get 2 for one region, and two for another, adding, you know, um, four for the entire province. Well, that would be pretty good if that was the case, wouldn't it? But um, Anyway, uh, that's food for another thought. That one fifty-two, nearly 53 minutes now, well over any time that I expected that this was going to go. Thanks for watching.